In this video, we'll take a look at how to create this cool double exposure effect with a picture or a video clip inside another picture and maybe some title text. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. I got this idea from Premiere Gal who does a similar effect in Adobe After Effects and today I'll show you how you can do this in Final Cut Pro. The clips I used for this tutorial will be linked in the description in case you want to follow along. Down in our timeline, let's start with a still image that's going to be our silhouette. First, using the transform tool, resize the image and reposition it to one side of the frame. Next, let's flip it around so the model is facing the middle of the frame. Over in the inspector, select the scale X number and change it to a negative. Reposition again if necessary. To isolate our model from the background, open the effects browser, select draw mask and drag and drop it over your clip. Zoom in on your image, change the shape type to B spline for nice smooth curves and add control points in the viewer for a detailed outline of the model. This can also be achieved in Photoshop or Pixelmator which might be a little bit faster and easier but for this tutorial we'll focus on Final Cut Pro. Next, let's add some text to our clip by adding a basic title directly above. Adjust the font and size of your title clip to something with nice big characters and position it where you want it. Now let's duplicate our silhouette clip by holding down the option key and dragging up. Select the top clip and disable it by pressing V. Select the bottom and title clips and combine them into one compound clip by pressing Option G. Now select the clip you want inside the silhouette and drag and drop it under the compound clip. Use the transform tool to resize this clip to fill a frame and if you're using a still image for this you can also add the Ken Burns effect for a little bit of motion. Select the compound clip again and in the inspector from the blend mode drop down menu select stencil alpha. This makes our background transparent and only shows the clip through the text and the model silhouette. Now to give our model a little bit of definition let's re-enable the top clip. From the effects browser select the shape mask and drag and drop it over your clip. Resize and center the mask just at the top of the model's head and drag out the feather ring to gradually decrease the opacity of the mask. Move the center of the mask up or down to adjust the level of detail in our silhouette. And for the last part of this tutorial, let's replace the black background with another video clip. With a playhead at the start of your project, select the clip you want to use and press Q to connect edit it to your timeline. Since this is now our top layer, none of the layers below are visible. With the top clip selected, in the inspector, from the blend mode drop down menu select behind. This places our video clip behind all the other clips so it shows through the transparent black background. So if you followed along with this tutorial, your finished clip should look something like this. A neat little effect that could look really cool in your next project. And like I said at the start of this video, I did get the idea from Premiere Gal. I'll link her video and her channel in the description below. Check out her channel and make sure to comment on one of her videos telling her that Serge aka LPT guy sent you there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with someone else who might enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.